My name is Julie Marino and my co-presenter is Adam Levis. We are lecturers in the Department of Kinesiology within the College of Health and Human Services. Adam and I teach in the Exercise Science degree program and in the summer of 2020 we had the opportunity to participate in the Writing and Oral Communications Intensive Academy with communications across the curriculum. We chose to focus on KNES 3287 Exercise Testing Principles and Applications. This is a writing intensive course within the Exercise Science degree program. And we recognized that we were primarily focused on providing direct instruction and assessment of student learning as it pertained to skills, hands-on skills in this class. But because it is a writing intensive course, we recognized that we really needed to do some work on the assessment of writing, student writing, in this course. By participating in this academy, we learned about using backwards course design to revise the course objectives. We learned about incorporating formative and summative feedback into our course. We learned about scaffolding and sequencing of activities, assignments, and assessments to support the learning objectives. And we worked on crafting both low stakes and high stakes assignments to support improvement in student writing. We focused on two steps in improving the assessment of student learning in this writing intensive course. Step one was engaging in the very difficult work of revising our course objectives. We engaged in backwards course design to re revise all the course objectives. The first thing we had to recognize was that while we were delivering effective direct instruction to support the mastery of skills in this class, we were falling short of providing direct instruction and supporting activities and assignments for writing in this course. We were assuming that the students already had the skills to succeed on high stakes writing assignments. We were wrong. This led us to completely overhaul our course objectives during this academy. If you take a look at our original course objectives, not only did they need an overhaul anyway, and there were far too many of them, but we didn't even address writing until the very last objective. So we quickly got to work on rewriting all course objectives to clearly state what the students should be able to do at the end of this course. Our learning objectives got an extreme makeover. If you take a look at our revised course objectives, you can see that they clearly state what the students should be able to do in terms of their writing and their hands-on skills. These objectives are measurable and align with program student learning outcomes. We had a great deal of support from the leaders of the Writing um, and Oral Intensive Academy in terms of choosing the right action verbs to support the revision of our learning objectives. Step two in this process for us in improving the assessment of student learning in this writing intensive course was to then design activities, assignments, and assessments that aligned with each of our new course objectives. So for example, for example, learning objective number three states that students will interpret the main hypothesis of and cite a scientific journal article. Students had always struggled with citing their sources properly on writing assignments, and they continually made the same mistakes week after week, semester after semester. And we realized that we lacked scaffolding here. So we created aligned activities, assignments, and assessments to support this specific learning objective. We chose some new instructional materials, including readings and videos. We added in direct instruction specific to how to find, read, interpret, and cite scholarly sources. We incorporated low stakes activities like Canvas quizzes, and we created new rubrics for writing assignments um, to assess this learning objective. Here's an example of an assignment that we used. Um, as a result of the academy, we implemented new strategies during the first week of class that focused on this learning objective and students were able to learn how to cite their sources and then they used this skill throughout the semester. This scaffolding um, resulted in the biggest improvement we've seen in students writing since we started teaching this course. Here's just a quick example of a rubric that we used to assess um, one of our low stakes writing assignments. 
And at the end of fall 2020, the first semester when we incorporated these improvements, we did notice um, in the feedback from students that our actions were effective. Um, students felt that the objectives of the course were clear. They understood why they were doing the different activities and assignments, um, and they even saw improvement in their own work. So the participation in the Writing and Oral Intensive Summer Academy was extremely worthwhile and we find that we can share what we learned with our other faculty and implement it in other courses across our curriculum.